basically he's been playing basketball since the age of eight and we've supported him on and off the court up until this point and we will continue from this point on. That's pretty much it. We usually follow him through AAU and high school season so it's a lot of games, that's a lot of traveling. So if both of us aren't here, one of us is there. I've always appreciated it, you know, but it just hit me like to realize that they do come to like every tournament when you ask me. I, I didn't really realize it. I look forward, forward to it. Um, it's something different at each time. And, you know, and just for the kids, we're here not only for Kenny, we're here for the entire team. And it's, you know, something pretty much to give the kids motivation to see us, you know, in the stands when their parents can't be there. You know, we're here um, in support of the entire team. Woo! Woo! Thank you, Raymond. Kenny's mom is like my second mom. Kenny's dad is like a big brother. Even he act like a big brother to Kenny. You, if you really look at them, they don't seem to be <laughs> father son at all. They always beating each other up and stuff. So, but I grew up with, I grew up knowing him a lot. Like that's my best friend. So. To me, I don't understand, I don't really talk to everybody else, but I know to me it's like a family because we play AAU together, we always together, so that's like my second family. Like if I was running away from home, you'd catch me at that house. So that's a big part, like when I hit them, like all right, I got somebody on my side, that's my mom back there. Even though that's not my mom, that's still my mom. So far, so good. Yeah, second quarter, 23-17. At the end of the game, I had my mom calling me, telling me what I did wrong and what I did in the game because his mom called, like they have that bond. The best friends just like me and Kenny, so that's a big part of the game, knowing that they watch. I never know what to expect on on a game game basis. I never know what to expect. All I just hope and pray that, you know, he's out there doing what he loves to do and I just hope and pray that he stays healthy. I never know what's gonna happen from game to game. I don't expect for him to score big game to game. I just expect for him to go out there and enjoy the game of basketball. So, yeah! I needed that bucket though. Mainly, I don't really like listen to it, but I hear him, you know. I just, it, it's like a motivation, you know, for them to be there. It's just better. Real. Just finished up our senior night, one of my favorite nights of the year. It's always fun for us to honor the gentlemen that have been through the program, hopefully the mature guys, the guys that know what it takes to be a leader and who are about to move on. It's always sad too because it means it's their last night that they get to play in front of their home fans. Seeing that was good. Um, I'm glad to see Eloy and uh, Cats play. I'm sorry I couldn't play, but um, yeah, the energy was good. Did my little, my little, my little crumping thing, you know. Um, I got my ball. Got my respects from my coaches and saw my grandma. It was good. Senior night meant a lot to me. Uh, I've been coming here for a lot of years now, and you know it's good. Uh, it's sad that I have to leave, but it was it was really nice what they did for me and the rest of the seniors. Coach Hers um, did a great job tonight with you know just making sure everyone gets their name called and everyone has you know the spotlight for a little bit. And it was nice that my family walked me out and you know. Which is a really nice setup. I think so. Senior night was fun when I could call my name. Everybody get up and, and do the clap, like the ghetto clap. So the, that's what made me crazy. So when I'm going there, so when I was walking by the guy, I sitting down and clapping again. That was fun. Hando is missing in action. Um, Hando, if you're watching this, I mean, you just missed senior night. One issue with senior night tonight. One of our guys, a guy who started for us a lot, Brandon Hando, was not able to be with us tonight during senior night as he was out on a recruiting visit for his football career and obviously this was planned way in advance. While he wasn't here in person, he certainly was here with his energy and his spirit. When I hit the shot, I mean, 
You know, I know I can shoot. But, you know, it was just nice that I just made a big shot on my last game. I had to go out you know, the right way. I've got a quick senior night story for you. Two of our seniors are with us at the University of Pittsburgh over the summer. We always go on a summer tour. And while we're at the University of Pittsburgh, the coach at, at Pitt, Coach Dixon, comes up to uh, Vargas and he's recruiting him hard. And he's, he's, you know, he's coming to Adam, telling him what Pitt's good for him and why he should come to Pitt. And all of a sudden, Jordan Katz comes up to Coach Dixon. And Jordan Katz goes, hmm, I'll tell you what, you want Eloy Vargas, Coach? And you gotta take Jordan Katz. Package deal. You want one, you take both. Dixon looks at him a little in amazement that A, you can have enough guts to ask me that question. And so he says to him, matter of factly, he goes, I'm not taking a package deal. What do you, Jordan Katz, bring to the table? And Jordan Katz, very quick-witted as he is, looks at coach Jamie Dixon and says, I bring Eloy Vargas to the table. <laughs> That's good. That's come on, good. come on. That was good. Yes? That's the, yeah, that's the line of the year. No, that was awesome. Oh, you might put me in the video now. <laughs>